Hello, everyone. My guest today is Z Aganovic. He's the CEO of High Conversion, an enterprise software company offering the first adaptive real-time testing and personalization solution for e-commerce. A serial technology entrepreneur, Z thrives on solving big real-life problems through innovative technology to help global brands transform their digital business. Z, are you ready to take us to the top? I am. All right. Tell us about High Conversion. What do you guys do and what's your revenue model? How do you make money? Yeah, so the the problem that we are solving is the buying experience on uh, e-commerce sites. So we help our clients, merchants, we call them merchants, to stage uh, mem- memorable buying experiences. What that means is that when visitors engage with their brand, uh, every element of that engagement can make positive or negative impact. Our mission is to create a better presentation of content, uh, messaging, uh, functionality of the site that would then ultimately yield directly measurable results. Uh, our revenue model is uh, based on uh, uh, SaaS uh, subscription that our clients are paying and the rates are proportional to number of visits that that site has. Got it. So without going down every customer cohort, what would you say the average Should customer? Yeah, what would you say the average customer pays you per month? Yeah, so the the start of the company was to serve uh, larger enterprises. So uh, their uh, you know size is uh, four to six thousand uh, dollars a month. Uh, we are right now expanding our reach into uh, mid tier of marketplace, and our entry price point right now is two thousand dollars a month. Okay, but when you look at an average of your current paying customers, would you say it's closer to two thousand or four thousand? Yeah, right now we we closer to five thousand. Our okay. average client is generating five thousand dollars. Our goal is actually to go down to uh, sub thousand dollar level, but we will do that in stages uh, before we scale and expand the business and ideally get higher volume, right? Exactly. So we want to make it uh, available to every merchant out there. And the only way that can work is if it is, you know, simplified and easy to use for masses of uh, other merchants. Z, when did you launch the company? What year? Um, you know, the idea started a long time ago. It, you know, the, the same team that built this company has built uh, several other startup companies. And, uh, you know, those companies were acquired by majors like Microsoft, Rico Corporation. So we always have a pipeline of ideas. So this uh, idea incubated itself in, uh, you know, over 10 years ago. But uh, the real business is uh, uh, last three or four years. It, it took us a while to, you know, formulate a uh, our targeted market, uh, create product market fit, and now ultimately uh, build the distribution that reaches customers. So you've launched you launched officially in 2014, and have you chosen to bootstrap or raise? Uh, we self funded it for most of the time, and then uh, we raised some money from institutional investors. Okay, so how much capital have you raised to date? Uh, up to now, I, I think it's roughly $10 million. $10 million. And why Why did you, I mean, it sounds like you bootstrapped for many years. Why decide to finally raise from institutional? Why not keep it all, you know, for yourself? Uh, we learn over time that uh, uh, you need to have a balance. Uh, if you raise uh, too much money too soon, that's uh, equally dangerous as not having enough money to execute. So our approach was to incubate the idea through self-funded and proof in the marketplace. And now at, we are the stage uh, growth stage of the business and it makes sense to now add additional capital to you know take your full potential in the marketplace. Mm-hmm. Very good. Makes sense. When was that round, the 10 million round? Uh, we, we actually raise it in, in a smaller uh, increments. So the most recent one was... Uh, $3.5 million last year. And then before that, we had the smaller increments in like million and a half, two millions, et cetera. We have an extremely good relationship with our investors and it's not the issue. Do we have access to capital? It's like, what's the right thing to do at the right point in time? Tactically, Z, though, what did you do there? Did you did you basically have one investor early on set a term sheet for a convertible note and you just let it roll? So you just use that same term sheet to add additional capital or did you renegotiate a term sheet every time? Uh, we renegotiated the, the term sheet every time. That's we a raised. lot of work. Your lawyers love you. Uh, 
it's it is, but it is not if you're dealing with the same investors. So it was simplified procedure. That's good. That's very good. Okay, and what you know, four years in, what have you scaled to in terms of total customers using the platform? We have several hundred customers that are using our platform, but those numbers are now changing uh, dramatically because uh, we are getting good traction in in the marketplace. And one of the reasons that we are getting good traction in the marketplace is we took approach of building the community of users. Uh, Instead of selling our solution uh, through traditional ways, explaining value proposition and what we can do to or for our customers, we created a partnership with uh, several major e-commerce platforms, including Magento and payment companies. And together, we are creating and developing best practices for uh, you know checkout optimization or general customer experience. Uh, it's by invitation program where we select. Uh, uh, merchants who will participate in a program. And at the beginning, these merchants don't have to pay anything. We as a, a sponsors of this initiative would cover the initial cost of those merchants using our technology. And then as they are using the technology, they are learning about what that technology can do for them, which then changes uh, the way how product is uh, being sold and adapted in the marketplace. But Z, just to be clear, when you say you have several hundred customers today, I mean, so it's like you have actually 200-ish or a couple hundred that are actually paying you full price, not free subsidized users. Yeah. So there, there's a like uh, the, the full customer base is uh, over 600 companies that are at different stages at this moment, at different stages of the sales cycle where full price is, let's say, something closer to 100 customers. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So if I take, again, I'm just back of the napkin this, but if I take 100 customers at that, you know, 5,000 average you told me earlier, I mean, it's fair to say you guys are somewhere around or north of half a million bucks a month right now in revenue? Yeah. So we are private companies, so we tend not to disclose uh, revenue numbers, but you can triangulate and make your own. Yeah. I'll never guess, but if you give me two data points and all I have to do is multiply Z, I can't resist. I'm going to multiply. I know. I know. (laughs) Multiplying is good business. (laughs) Uh, Since we have that data point, give us a sense of growth. If you're at 500 grand a month today, where were you about a year ago? Uh, We were uh, probably uh, one tenth of that. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, so that's, that's so call it 50,000 bucks a month. Yes. So, I mean, that's incredible growth. What drove most of that growth? The uh, partnership model, uh, the testing personalization is a very crowded space and our technology is quite disruptive to how other testing and personalization companies are solving that problem. And uh, you can spend a lot of money marketing and promoting and creating differentiation or take a path that we took uh, to put our product, our solution into hands of targeted, qualified customers and earn their trust and and business. So you follow kind of an account-based model. You're picking who you're, who you want as your customer and you're reaching out. Absolutely. We, we, we select uh, the, the merchants that we think are the best merchants to work with us. And then we focus on those merchants and, and we get them engaged with us. That's great. Uh, yeah, the idea is to remove any barrier to entry, to remove any risk from the merchant side and uh, basically deliver value to merchants at every point of contact. Mm-hmm. Now, what's your, I want to understand kind of what that looks like from a personnel perspective. What's your team size today and how many are focused on sales? So we, we have, a, let's say, uh, 26 uh, employees and the sales team is... Uh, Four people. Okay, okay, that's pretty effective sales team then. And where's everybody based? Uh, we are Pokerton, Florida-based company. We have a few uh, external resources, but let's say ninety-five percent of people, ninety percent of people are here in the home. And Z, including your salespeople, any other marketing or onboarding, any any other kind of direct paid spend you're doing, what would you consider your fully weighted customer acquisition cost to be? Uh, it, it is changing now. It's changing dramatically. Like a year ago, it was uh, um, it, in in many thousands of dollars. As, as you can imagine, direct sales model is very expensive model. 
uh, it, it costs you a lot of uh, money to just get the lead and then a lot of time and effort to, to sell. So we are trying to reverse that model and, and create the pool so that uh, uh, we exchange the cost of marketing and sales with the cost of services and value that we deliver to, to clients. And that cost is going down as, as we are automating and improving uh, our ability to engage and, and deliver value to, to merchants. So, so it sounds like, you know, for your kind of average $5,000 a month plan today, you're willing to spend a couple thousand bucks to get that account. That still puts your payback period. I mean, if you spend five grand to get a $5,000 a month account, that's a very quick payback period. It, it is very good quick payback period, assuming if, you know, 100% conversion. <laughs> what do you mean so, by that? Meaning if uh, you spend a few thousand dollars to engage with the customers and you convert every one of those customers. Well, they're not a customer unless they convert. Otherwise, it'd be, otherwise it'd be called trial acquisition cost. Exactly. Trial. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. So let me ask a different question then. You're, to get actually a customer, h- how long are you willing to wait to get paid back? Are you, health, are you happy with a 12-month payback, a 24-month payback, six months? Again, it's it's very fluid. Uh, we, we are building this uh, uh, new go-to-market uh, model. Uh, our goal is to have basically an immediate payback from, from customers. Uh, I cannot uh, state that we reach that goal yet, but uh, the setup that we are creating has that potential. Many would argue, Z, with an instant payback period that you're actually not being aggressive enough, uh, that you're priced too cheap. Why do you want to get an instant payback? Uh, it, it's not, no, no, it's not the question about price. Uh, we, we are not winning our customers based on price. We are winning them on total value. But what we are trying to develop here is market pool so that all we have to do is to demonstrate within a limited period of time that what we are promising or telling to those engaging with us is actually reality. So that proof, what I'm saying is like very quick, within 30 to 45 days, our customers are starting to see directly measurable benefit of our solution. And the only cost in ideal case we incur is the cost of services that we provided upfront to win relationship with that client. Okay, great. Let's let's move on. Last question here before we wrap up. Uh, churn's critical in a SaaS business. Uh, you have a variety of plans and price points. So let's ignore logo churn and just talk about revenue churn. In a given year, so the past 12 months, obviously your growth has been incredible. But when you look at the cohort that was with you a year ago, how much of that revenue churned and how much do you expand it? Yeah, so we, we closely track uh, that churn and uh, we are within margins uh, of other SaaS companies like 10% uh, churn is per, year? per year is okay. acceptable to us, but we believe that we will have a much better retention than that. Yep. Okay. So 10% low, 10% revenue churn per year. Now it sounds like you're also driving up sales. Uh, w- will, will your upsells on that cohort more than make up for the 10% of lost revenue? Yes, uh, our accounts are growing because uh, uh, our pricing is based uh, or proportional to number of visits that that site has. Yeah. So organically, uh, you know, sites are growing more than 10% a year. That's great. Very good, Z. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Uh, the most recent one, like it's usually the most recent one is the small data book. Everybody yeah. is so crazy about big data and uh, people are ignoring the uh, details associated with the human psychology and how people react. And that small data usually is the pathway to some huge uh, market opportunities. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, I follow a lot of uh, different people. Like uh, uh, in, in the old days, uh, I, I definitely was inspired by Gates, uh, by Steve Jobs. Uh, but lately, I, I'm following more uh, people who are investing in venture companies. I'm curious, why would they put their money at risk and how they <laughs> make their decisions to pick a people like me or somebody else? Yeah, number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your business, Z? Uh, we, as a technology company, we use a lot of uh, d- different different tools, uh, uh, you know, in the marketing area, HubSpot, in the in, uh, 
email. We we use a lot of different email tools. Like uh, there's a small brand called Outreach that uh, we like to use to supplement uh, sales prospecting, etc. Num- number four. How many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, I I get minimum eight hours of sleep. That's good. And what's your situation? Married, single? Do you have kids? Married, two kids, uh, and uh, having lots of friends. That's good, Z. And how old are you? I'm uh, uh, early 60s. Early 60s. Very good. We'll say 60. And uh, last question. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Uh, What was... What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Oh, I I wish I knew everything I (laughs) I knew today (laughs) so that I can play this game way better. Like, uh, more you learn more you know name one thing though so just something you wish you knew when you were 20 uh oh my gosh that's a loaded question i uh, uh you, you you made that that's a tough one <laughs> do, do, anything related to business ignore personal yeah so uh, on on a personal level is uh uh you know your own limits i i wish you uh uh, that I can do way more than like today. I have way more confidence about things I can do than I had in my twenties. My goals were not as big when I was twenty as uh, as they are today. Guys, there you have it. Maybe make bigger goals. There you have it from Z. Launched high conversion with his buddies back in 2014. They've done a lot of companies together. Had very successful exits to the likes of Microsoft. This new company today over. 500,000 bucks per month in revenue. That's up almost 10X year over year from 50 grand a month just uh, about a year ago. A lot of that growth has come from partnerships they've established. Um, they raised about 10 million bucks to grow the business, currently serving about 100 enterprise customers at five grand per month a pop. But they are looking to flip that from account-based marketing to more of a pull strategy, moving downstream, making the software easier to use. 10% gross revenue churn per year. That's more than covered up by expansion revenue in that same cohort. So net revenue retention well north of 100%. He's totally willing to spend a couple grand to acquire these customers, but obviously wants an instant payback with his team of 26 people based in Florida. Again, helping um, adaptive optimization of e-commerce buying experiences. Z, thank you for taking us to the top. Thank you. My pleasure.